previously, on, my husband, my enemy. My wife will be meeting the CEO next week to finalize the project outcome. Afterwards, she will be given the promotion. In fact, the CEO himself is going to give her that promotion. I need to stop her from going. What do you think I should do to stop her? A day before she will meet the CEO, pretend to celebrate with her that evening. Or better still, you can prepare dinner for her. Use it as an opportunity to put sleeping tablets in her food. She will wake up very late the next day, and she will miss the appointed time. And I am sure there is no way the CEO will promote her when she is late for such an important event. I always fail every time I try to bring my wife down. It is disturbing me so much that I need some fresh air to cool off. It seems her God is on her side. Is that all you have to say? What is wrong with you? What really happened? Our plan didn't work this time. She has been promoted by the boss himself. She looked all happy, and I had to watch her celebrate in front of me. She could have recommended me to the boss. But what did she do? With open arms, she accepted the position. My wife is very wicked and devious and I shall deal with her for stealing what was rightfully mine. I guess this is a great opportunity for me to strike. She won't escape this one by all means. She thinks she is the best among all. By the time I am done with her, she won't be able to recall where she comes from. She is my wife and she shall remain a wife. I will never allow her to control me. I will make sure this project never becomes a success. That way, she will be seen as incompetent by the CEO and dismissed from her post. She thinks I will allow her to deliver the proposal. She will surely work in vain. I am almost done with the proposal. Let me wait for the team to send their own so I can combine. Come in, please. Madam, the team is done with their proposal. I would like to send the details to you. You can send it to me. I will go over it. All right, madam. Let me quickly finish up with mine, so that I can combine the proposals. Are you coming from my wife's office? No, sorry. I meant to say the new manager. Yes, I am. Is there a problem? Not at all. I was searching for you. Me? Is there a problem? Not really. I wanted to know if you have submitted the proposal. No, not yet, but I am going to send it right away. Why? Do you want to check it out? No, you can leave now. What was that? Was she trying to start a conversation with me? I only asked one question and she is already talking plenty. Has she forgotten her position? If she doesn't take care, she will be the first person I will fire from this company. Where's Patrick? Let me look for him. Patrick, I have been searching for you. Where have you been? I went to the washroom. Why were you searching for me? The secretary is going to send the proposal to my wife. So? So, we are going to strike this weekend. We? Yes, we. Why? Are you scared? Scared of what? You sound scared. Didn't you promise to support me in whatever I do? How? You know, I mostly spend my weekends with you and my wife knows that. Yes, I know. So what's going to happen? So this weekend, instead of partying, I will use my precious time wisely. I will come back to the office and sneak into my wife's office at night. How do you intend to achieve that? Have you forgotten about the security officer? No, not at all. You don't have to worry about him. He will be sorted out and about the key to my wife's office. I already have the duplicate. Wow. My God, you are just too callous. I suddenly feel like you are not human, but a psychopath. I take that as a compliment. But why are you so wicked? I have never heard you talk about her treating you badly. She has given you all the respect in the world as every woman should. And she is submissive and humble as well. Why are you pursuing your wife? You sound so concerned. 
I married her so I can do whatever I want with her. She must never obtain a higher position. Sooner or later, she will grow rubber horns and rebel against me. Well, I will not try stopping you. I know you have already made up your mind. I hope you don't regret it though. I won't. Where should I start from? Let me check her computer first. I think I know her password. Wow! I said it. Now, where is this file? Let me check through her recent folders. Yes, yes, I have found it. I will deal with this woman very well. It is already very late and my husband hasn't arrived home. Where could he be? He normally tells me if he will spend the night with Patrick. And his phone too, is not going through. Let me call Patrick to find out from him. Patrick? Patrick? Please Patrick. Have you heard from or seen my husband? Is he still at your place? Your husband? Yes. Yes. He is here with me. Thank God. Please, can I speak with him? I tried calling his number, but his phone is off. The thing is, his battery went dead immediately we went out. Wait, let me call him. Collins. 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 Diana. I think he is fast asleep. I forgot to tell you. He was very tired when we returned home, so he warned me not to wake him up. I am so sorry. Yes, please. That's fine. Please don't forget to tell him to call me first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. I will. Diana, I am very disappointed in you. How can you make such a mistake? I am very sorry, boss. Diana, how could you allow this to happen? We trusted you. Sorry, boss. I don't understand what happened. This could be a setup. Trust me. Trust you? Do you have any evidence to prove that it was a setup? Not actually, sir, but... No buts. And why would anyone want to set you up? Diana. This contract was so important to the company. But you let us down. I am so sorry. It won't happen again. It's too late for that now. I just don't understand how you could mess up the proposal. You didn't go through it before sending it to the company. I checked it thoroughly, sir, and everything was okay. So what happened? The harm has already been done. The whole company trusted your branch and gave you the opportunity to win this contract, which was so important to the company. But what did you do? You messed it up. On this note, the board has decided to replace you with a different worker. Boss, please. I promise it won't happen again. I am sorry I let my guard down. Please, can you do something about it for me? Madam, Diana, we are sorry. Nothing can be done. The board has decided to let you go today. You are fired, Miss Diana. But before you go, see the accountant for your severance pay. Sir, please, give me another chance, please. We are sorry, but that is the end of the road for you. We can no longer have you here. The damage you caused is too huge. You may leave. Thank you.
Oh, God. How did this happen? I am sure I checked every detail of the proposal. I don't know how everything changed in a twinkle of an eye. Oh, God. What am I going to do now that I don't have any work? I feel this is not normal. Who on earth want to sabotage my career? This is so devastating. Oh, God. I am sorry for questioning you. I thank you for my life and all that you have given me. Thank you for what I have. I am so grateful. Dear, are you still crying over this issue? I am sorry, dear. Please stop crying. It shall be well in all things. Let us give glory to God. I understand, dear. I know I am not supposed to be worried. The most important thing is that I found favor in the sight of God. I know the CEO considers me worthy of the same position you lost because he knows I have been in the company for a long time and I deserve that position. Because the position is still running in the family. You should praise God that, the position will still remain in this house. Me having the position is the same as you having it. So don't worry my dear wife. Even though, you have lost your job, I will still take care of you like always. But that must not be a reason for you to stay in the house, you can at least find some menial job to do. Dear, you are right. All I need to do now is to look for another job to support you. It would be a blessing if you acquire the position but even if you don't we will still remain grateful to God. What do you mean by that? What do you mean if I don't get the position? Can't you open your mouth to say anything positive? Look here woman. I am not the reason why you lost your job so don't take your heartbreak on me and my upcoming promotion. I am getting that promotion whether you like it or not. Instead of being happy for your husband, you are here speaking doom over me out of jealousy and hatred. My husband, please, don't get me wrong, that is not what I meant. Please. It better be. Now get out of my sight and get me something to eat. Okay, dear. What would you like to eat? Prepare me some delicious noodles with chicken to eat. Let me celebrate ahead of my promotion. And oh, I brought some champagne with me. It's in the fridge. Bring it out when you serve the food. Yes, my dear. I shall do just that. Women will always be women. They are truly the weaker vessels. This is why I have always wanted to be the head in this family and not my wife to control her. Not the other way round. There it is, that must be my appointment later in my email. Let me open it fast. What nonsense, it's a spam email. Arg. I hate this suspense. I should have received the email by now. What is taking the board this long? Let me go to the company chat group to see if my appointment has been posted. My wife's appointment was posted before she got the official email. The same might be my case. Oh, too bad, there is nothing yet. What is taking this people this long? Just a mere promotion too. You are making me wait like this. Let me wait a little while more. Oh God, my husband actually brought champagne home to celebrate the very day I lost my job? Could he? No, no, that can never be. He is my husband of many years. How could I think that of him? Oh God, I am sorry, please, forgive me. Honey, please, your meal is served. Did you get the champagne? Yes, I have. All right. Forgive me, dear, but I can't join you at the table. I am feeling a little blue. I shall be in the bedroom. Call me if you need anything. All right. Wait, what? An email from the company? What is this?
I have been appointed as the new managing director? What? How? What is going on? Oh no, this is bad? Collins will kill me. What should I do? Must I call the board to turn down the promotion? No, no, I can't do that. What if I end up losing my job? But what of my friend Collins? He will never accept this. He will never let me off if I take this position from him. He did not even spare his own wife. But then again, why should I be concerned about him? It's not like he owns my life. I am my own person. The fact that we are friends and I have been tolerating him does not mean I should fear him. You know what? I will take this position and enjoy my life. And if he tries anything, I will prove to him that I am not his wife. There it is, just what I was waiting for. The company has finally sent me the appointment letter. Oh yes, it's good. Let me read it before I start my celebration. In fact, it came at the right time. It was sent to the company chat group. Wait, what? What is this? What is Patrick's name doing on my appointment letter? You've got to be kidding me. What? They gave my promotion to Patrick? No, no, I must be seeing it wrong. Diana, Diana, come here. Dear, you called for me? Yes, I did. Have you been logged out of the company group chat yet? No, not yet. I just received a notification that Patrick has been made the new manager. I am sorry, dear, but... Don't. Don't open your mouth to say any more doom. It was just an honest mistake the company made. Everything will be rectified tomorrow. Get out of here before you spoil my good mood. I am very positive this is a mistake. Let me call Patrick to confirm this. Talk of the devil. He might have seen it from the company chat group. He must be calling to confirm. Whatever. Patrick, where are you? Yes, Collins. I'm home. What is it? Have you seen the erroneous message in the company group chat? Erroneous? What is erroneous about that? What do you mean by that? I mean, what is wrong with what you saw? I saw the appointment letter had your name instead of mine. Don't tell me they have sent you an official email. Yes, they have. And why should it be your name instead of mine? What are you talking about, Patrick? You know that position is mine and mine alone. Says who? Does the company belong to you or your father? Patrick? How dare you talk to me like that? You better turn down the promotion tomorrow when we get to the office. And what will happen if I don't? I didn't go through the trouble of sabotaging my wife just to have my rightful position taken away from me. If you don't want any trouble, just withdraw yourself. You are the stupid one to sabotage your own wife and ruin her good career, just because of your greed and jealousy. A career that benefited you both. Listen to me, I am not your wife. And if you think I will sit around for you to sabotage me like you did to her, you must be joking. Patrick? Is that so? Is that what you are telling me? So you pretended to be helping me and later went behind my back to plead with the board to give you the position? No wonder you were acting aloof with me the last time. I did no such thing. I did not plead or ask for this promotion. I have been recognized for my hard work and talent. Unlike you who is lazy and always sleeping on the job. Patrick, you made me do the dirty work for you, right? All right, see how I deal with you. There is nothing you can do to me, Collins, and I mean, nothing. Wow, this world is wicked. How can my own best friend do this wickedness to me? He snatched away my glory and my promotion. He must be joking if he thinks I will allow him to walk away with it. I, Collins, will never ever allow that to happen, over my bald head. I would rather grow hair than to let him go free. I will make sure he pays dearly for it. Nonsense.
Yes, come in. Collins, it is you. Have a seat. Oh, congratulations, my friend. I came to congratulate you on your promotion. What? You? I am sorry it took me this long. I had to gather my thoughts carefully. Really? Oh, come on Patrick, we have been friends for years. I would be small-minded if I let this trivial issue come between us. After all, I must be crazy to have thought the way I did. The company is not mine and I shouldn't have placed my heart on something that wasn't promised me to begin with. I am very sorry about how I spoke to you the last time. In fact, I did a lot of thinking since that day and I realized I was not being fair to you and especially to my wife. I have confessed to her and asked for her forgiveness. Really? Has she forgiven you? No bro, not yet, you know it really hit her bad. In fact, she was traumatized to find out I could do such a thing to her. She hasn't forgiven me yet, but I trust that with time, she will forgive me. I have even promised to find her a job. Wow, Collins, I've got to say, I am really surprised you could change overnight. I am very glad you came clean to your wife. I myself need to apologize to her too. I hope she will forgive me for the part one played. Don't worry Patrick, I told her all about your part in it and made her aware that, it wasn't your fault since I coerced you into it. She will eventually forgive us. Yay, right but I think I still must apologize in person. Yes, yes, you should. In the right time when she calms down. Right now is a very bad time. Yes, yes, you are right. Patrick, I am honestly sorry for what happened the last time. Bear with me. You know how much I craved this position. It was only natural that I acted the way I did, even though it was wrong of me. In fact, I even planned to take revenge on you, but I have had an awakening. I really do not deserve this position. You truly deserve it and so does my wife. I am truly sorry. Please forgive me. Wow. I have walked with Colin for many years and I think this is the first time I have seen or heard him apologize. He must really mean his words. He really sounds sincere. So, what do you say? Friends again? Of course, why not? We are bros, and forever bros we will be. Aw, oh, thank you. You know. Let's meet at our meeting place after work. Let me treat you to a sumptuous meal. All right, bros. Let me leave you to work. I myself have some files to put together. See you after work. After work, then. Sumptuous meal? Wait, what? Is that what he said? I hope this guy is not trying to poison me to death. Even though he sounded sincere and honest, I know he has a wicked heart. If he could do that to the woman he lies in bed with, what stops him from doing me harm? I better be careful with him. But wait, I think he must have really repented, he even went as far as to confess to his wife. The Collins I know would rather die than to do such a thing. But he did, which means he has truly repented. He is no longer the same old wicked and heartless Collins that I know. He seems calm and meek now. There is no harm in trusting him one more time. After all, he is the only friend I have. Watch out for part 3. Thanks for watching.